you're welcome to today's video it is time for me to add or to do the improvement that my friend did on his nissan leaf by bypassing that uh, current sensor i decided that okay am i going to cut this cable or am i going to i don't i was not sure what to do so i decided to let it out of that place tape it to this rope and guess what pull it and that's what i did uh, I use this guy to I use this one to hang it so I can have uh, some other ones there I was able to get it out. Here we are <laughs> It's out. Yes Somehow somehow I got it out <sighs> Okay Yeah, I started today just a few hours ago And here I am to decide. Okay, this is the guy that we that helped in doing the current sensing okay here we are two things well how do i do do, do this okay getting this out am i going to make a new hole somewhere here to put my own cable that cable over there this one yes i have to find a way to get it here uh -huh, into this place and get this <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Okay, I'll get it done, but I don't know. So, do I delete this? Just remove this guy, plug it somewhere so it will be sensing nothing. No, that's not a good idea. I mean, too much current, it will be sensing that nothing is going through it, and that can be dangerous. It can either be dangerous or helpful, but I don't know. So, uh, let me do what he did. He's already getting good results. So, I'm going to go this route add my own cable i will not i will take it from this place i'm taking it off from this place and adding it to this place okay another thing i just discovered today is this is the cable that goes to the heater one leg was taken from here while the other leg was taken from here which means once there is power coming from here that guy is getting power but I'm not seeing the effect well I have everything set up but I do not have enough fan to get it installed with the petrol that I want to put in place all that one they are not ready but with the improvement that my friend made uh, going off grid I, am, I just have to do my my and enjoy this car too because I need to get it done. The black one is over there. I'll do it later. But let me do this white one first and see how it's going. The, on the black one, I'm enjoying it. It's taking me, I'm getting good range on it. Good range. But this one, uh, I'm not getting good range on it. It's only getting uh, 14 to 15 kilowatt max. It dropped from 21 to 15. I have charged them more on this one, but I do not have on that one. That one keep increasing. Now this one keep decreasing because I occasionally use charge demo on it. So I've stopped using charge demo on it because I noticed the battery keep. I don't know what was going on, but from 21 kilowatts it was dropping, dropping. Currently is now on 15 kilowatt. So. When I'm done, I'll add more. After I made the adjustment, I decided to drive uh, to test what I did by driving the car over by regular distance. At this, with the information that Leaf Spy is giving me, I will be afraid that I will not be able to make it back home. But with what the car is telling me. I'm more than confident that I will get back home. So, what I can conclude from what I'm looking at is that <laughs> it's good. The car cannot see the extended battery. It cannot force its policy on it, reducing what is going into it or reducing what it can put into it. The extended battery is on its own. But I am happy, even at this 
8.2 kilowatt remaining I can still drive as high as 60 miles it's telling me I have 23 miles left I don't understand what is going on but what I'm saying I like it you know what I'm gonna keep it this way going off off grid thank you for the discovery I am happy it is one thing to have something it's another thing to be able to use it I don't think I've been able to use what I have before the extended battery but right now I am using it I am enjoying it and I'm driving thank you very much bye for now please if you like what you see subscribe and you will you will, you will see more fun from Nissan Leaf bye if I tell you that I understand what is going on I am lying I do not understand it but I like it I like the result I'm looking at normally with Leaf Spy telling me that I have 8 kilowatts left man I will be afraid that I will not be able to make it back home but with what the car is telling me 24 miles remaining predicting and with the way I've been driving I am going to make it back home I am confident with that and it's telling me I, my state of charge is 50 percent yes I, I just man I I like what I'm seeing and <laughs> man oh um, power electronics going off grid you guys rock thank you for your information thank you for your help and I am so much I so much I so much appreciate what I'm saying and <laughs> I'm gonna keep it this way I'll soon do it on the second car so that now I can enjoy what I have bye for now please subscribe like and share bye with the way I drove I was not gentle with the car that was 3.2 miles to, to 1 kilowatt that was that was that was not gentle the, is, uh, the car is saying okay 3.5 miles per kilowatt 3.5 miles per kilowatt but guess what with 6.4 kilowatt remaining I still have my state of charge was still 42.3 state of charge it the car still have tons of power can you look at the bar no I do not understand what's going on the car cannot see the extended battery but the car can feel the extended battery it cannot control it but it's like okay it can only see his own battery and it's telling me okay with my with my own battery with the way you're driving energy is coming in but I don't know where the energy is coming from but guess what this is what you have left this is what you see is what you get that 18 miles I'm sure if I still have to drive 18 miles I can still cover it man you guys rock you just you rock that current sensor stuff help the current sensor helps this BMS to do whatever it can do with the capacity bar the capacity bar detects how the car functions but right now the capacity bar is not detecting how this one function this one function on its own depending on what battery you have depending on the strength of your battery that's how far you can go not what Nissan detect to it man guys you guys you rock you guys you rock power electronics you rock um, going off grid you rock you guys rock you guys rock I'm so happy I'm so happy and I'm so happy to tell you guys that what you've done the little information of where to connect the extended battery make the difference make the difference now I can enjoy this car guys if you like what you see give me a thumbs up I will so much appreciate that you can subscribe you can do all kind man we are just starting thank you very much bye for now